South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Barker Honda, Martin Luther King Boulevard in Homa. It's better at Barker. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Hello and welcome once again to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. We continue the first round of our varsity tournament tonight with Morgan City High School taking on South Lafouche High School. Good luck to both teams. Let's jump into a rapid fire and your answers are going to be the names of Louisiana parishes. And I want the specific names of the parishes here, okay? Good luck. Union General and President. Ada. Jefferson. Uh, no, Grant. The oldest settlement in the Louisiana Purchase. That's Natchitoches, an epic poem by Longfellow. That's Evangeline, hero of the Battle of New Orleans. Cameron. Jackson. That's right, president and father of the Constitution. Ada. Jefferson. No, Madison, last major tributary of the Mississippi. That's Red River, Honest Abe, an American president. Cameron. Lincoln. That's right, island of Napoleon's exile. Uh, Drew. St. Helena. That's right. Louisiana Governor William C.C. That's Claiborne. Writer, inventor, and founding father. Duck. Jefferson. Uh, no, Franklin. Explorer and brother of Bienville. That was Iberville. That's the end of the round. <laughs> Let's take a moment and let the players introduce themselves. We'll start with Morgan City. Uh, my name is John Patrick. I am a student at Morgan City High School. I enjoy ping pong and I am a qualified emergency medical response. Hi, I'm Michelle. I'm a senior at Morgan City and besides Quiz Bowl, I'm in Jersey C and Talented Art. My name is Doug. I'm a sophomore at Morgan City High School. I'm in band student council and I'm the sophomore class president. My name is Ryan. I am a member of the Mighty Tiger Band and I am in Talented Art. Michelle is the team captain. Tell us about Morgan City. Morgan City High School is focused on the education and growth of its students. MCHS offers multiple dual enrollment, honors, and elective classes, as well as fine arts, jersey C, woodshop, and welding. In addition to the variety of academic courses offered, MCHS has a variety of clubs and sports, from foreign language society to soccer and fishing. This range of diverse classes and extracurricular activities makes MCHS a unique place to shape and grow the next generation. We would like to thank Chris Hunter and KWBJ for hosting Quiz Bowl. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you to the faculty sponsors, Ms. Robin Mason and Ms. April Leonard. Let's welcome back Morgan City High School. Here are the players for South Lafouche. Hi, my name is Ada Plazons. I'm in 11th grade. This is my fifth year in Quiz Bowl. And other than Quiz Bowl, I'm in Tag Academics and Math and Science Club. Hi, I'm Cameron. I'm in 11th grade. This is my fifth year in Quiz Bowl, and other than Quiz Bowl, I'm in Math and Science and play trumpet. I'm Drew. I'm a sophomore, and outside of Quiz Bowl, I am sophomore class president, and I play trumpet. Hi, I'm Adelie Vaughn. I'm, I'm in 12th grade. This is my seventh year in Quiz Bowl. Other than Quiz Bowl, I'm in Tag Academics and National Honor Society. Cameron is the team captain. Tell us about South Lafouche. South Lafouche High School has built a legacy of preparing students academically since 1966. Sal Lafouche implements values of determination and diligence in every one of his students and has maintained these values despite the hardships over the we have faced over the past years. We would like to thank our principal, Samantha Lagarde, and our sponsor, Ms. Andy Jo Adams. We would also like to thank Chris Hunter and KWBGA, uh, KWBGA for this amazing opportunity. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you to the faculty sponsor, Ms. Andy Jo Adams. Let's welcome back South Lafouche High School. <laughs> All right, it's time for the toss-up bonus round. We'll start with the two-point toss-up. During the Pleistocene epoch, mammals such as mastodons, mammoths, and saber-toothed tigers became stuck at this location and preserved. In 1997, Hollywood had a volcano rise from its primordial ooze. What is this famous Los Angeles landmark? Anyone? Uh, Drew? San Andreas Fault. Uh, that's incorrect. Morgan City? It is the, the La Brea Tar Pit. Two-point toss-up. 
He wrote The Ides of March, and his play The Matchmaker was the inspiration for the Broadway musical Hello, Dolly. His best-known drama, drama, for which he won the Pulitzer Prize, is staged with no scenery and no props. For two points, who is this writer of Our Town? Anyone? That is Thornton Wilder. Two points toss-up. The first written references to it appear in the 15th century tablets from Egypt. Biblical sources attribute it as the capital of the Arameans, though it has changed hands numerous times throughout history. Believed to be the oldest continuously inhabited city in the world, what is the current capital of Syria? Drew. Damascus. That's correct. Bonus question for South Lafouche. Finish the title of these works. Maurice Sendak's story, Where the Blank Things Are. Uh, wild. That's right. Quotations from Chairman Mao is also known as the little blank blank. Two words. Pass. Morgan City. Pass. It is the little red book. South of Fouche, Robertson Davies called the third book in his Cornish trilogy, The Liar of Which Mythological Figure? Hermes. That's incorrect. Point City. Apollo? No, The Liar of Orpheus. Two points for South of Fouche there. Here's a two point toss up. Originally titled Little Folks, it debuted in 1950 and has been featured in more than 2,600 newspapers in 75 countries. At first, this strip featured several characters such as Lucy, Woodstock, uh, Cameron. Peanuts. That's correct. Bonus question for South Lafouche. Let's talk about the Archangel Gabriel. According to Islam, shortly before Muhammad's death, Gabriel took him to what city to meet Abraham and Jesus? It's a bonus for South Lafouche. That's incorrect. Morgan City? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Captain? Jerusalem is correct. South of Fush, in the Old Testament, Gabriel proclaims the coming end of the Jewish exile where? Egypt. That's incorrect. Morgan City? Yes. It is Babylon. South of Fush, Gabriel appears to what man and tells him that his wife Elizabeth will give birth to John the Baptist? Morgan City? Pass. It is Zacharias or Zachariah. Two points for Morgan City. Here's a two point toss up. Quentin Tarantino claimed that James Best, an actor most notable for this television series, taught him how to act. In its 146 episodes, the show went through 229 different 1969 Dodge Chargers. It went to the big screen in 2005 in a film shot mainly around Baton Rouge. Name it. It was The Dukes of Hazard. James Best played Sheriff Roscoe on the, uh, on the TV show. Two point toss up. The quantity of energy available for doing useful work is what free energy symbolized by the letter G? Drew. Gravity. That's incorrect. Morgan City. It is Gibbs free energy. Two points toss up. The idea behind it is to align the human body and spirit with the forces of the cosmos. The recent insurgent's popularity in the West is on a smaller scale, generally affecting interior design. Identify this ancient feng shui. Cameron Feng Shui is correct. South Ter uh, excuse me, South Lafouche Olympics is your category. What is the IOC, or what does IOC stand for? International Olympics Committee. That's correct. What two Italian cities hosted, respectively, the 1960 and 2006 Olympics? And it's in Florence. That's incorrect. Morgan City. Rome and Venice? No, Rome and Turin. 
Salafouche, what three languages are used for announcements at the games? English, Spanish, and Mandarin. That's incorrect. Morgan City? English and Italian. No, it's English, French, and the host country's language. Two points for South of Fush, and that's the end of the round. Welcome back to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. We have a new player coming in for Morgan City. Hello, my name is Joseph. Uh, I'm in the Mighty Tiger Band, and I play clarinet, piano, and saxophone, and I love playing video games. All right, welcome to the game, Morgan City. Excuse me, South of Fush, leading Morgan City as we continue on. Some two-point toss-ups for you. Originally an advisor to Ivan the Terrible, what czar is the subject of both a drama by Pushkin and an opera by Mussorgsky? That you, uh, Cameron. Nicholas II. That's incorrect. Morgan City. It is Boris Gudunov. One example of this occurrence is the bluish glow in the water around chemical reactors. Electrons from a nuclear reactor travel through the water at a rate greater than light can travel through the water. Identify this type of radiation, which, uh, Cameron? Uh, Sharnkov radiation? That's correct. 2,500 of the 10,000 men that camped here died. Located on the banks of the Shaikul River, the men received no pay, no clothes, and no rum. However, those who, who, who survived emerged a much stronger army. Name this location in which George Washington's Continental Army spent the winter of 1777 and 78. Ada. Valley Forge. That's right. His career began when he made a bet with his wife that he could write a better book than the one he was then reading. The book that resulted from this wager, Precaution, sold poorly, but subsequent works did better. Who was this author of The Pathfinder, The Deer Slayer, and Last of the Mohicans? That was James Fenimore Cooper. Name the German-born 19th century American artist who created the Republican elephant and Democrat donkey and who created what has become the modern look of Santa Claus. Anyone? That is Thomas Nast. And that is the end of the round. South of Fouche still in the lead as we come to our 62nd round. So Morgan City, you've got first choice of categories you can have. Anniverbs. Greatest common factor, mineral, or cat, C-A-T. Greatest common factor. Greatest common factor, all right. I want you to state the greatest common factor of the following groups of numbers. Good luck. 69 and 93. Three. Correct. Six, eight, and twelve. Two. Right. Thirty-six, forty-eight, fifty-six. Six. Incorrect. Twelve, fifteen. Three. That's right. Twenty-seven, thirty-six. Nine. That's right. Seventy-two, forty-five. Nine. That's right. 12, 16, 20. Four. Four. Correct. 30, 50, 60. Ten. That's right. 108, 96. Twelve. That's right. Ten, uh, I'm sorry, not ten. 12, 18, 30. Six. That's correct. You can stop the clock. They got nine out of ten. 18 points. South Lafouche, 36, 48, 56. Answer? Four. It is four. You factor well. All right, <laughs> South of Fush, here you go. Anniverbs, mineral, and cat. Cat. Cat, all right. The answers to each of the following begin with cat, C-A-T. Good luck. A major world religion. A Catholic? Yes. A shrill whistle expressing derision. Cat call? That's right. One who provides food for social functions. Caterer? That's right. Something that acts as a stimulus in bringing about or hastening some action. Catalyst? Correct. 
a large waterfall. Pass. The main church of a bishop's see. Pass. A short, light sleep. Cat nap. Correct. Spiteful or mean. Caddy. Correct. A slender tube for introduction into body cavities. Uh, catheter. That's right. Destructive metabolism. Catabolism. That's right. A large waterfall. Eight out of ten, 16 points. Morgan City, here you go. A large waterfall. Answer? Give it to you. It's cataract. The main church of a bishop's see. Cathedral. That's correct. Two points there. And that's the end of the round. Let's take a break. We're right back with more South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. South Louisiana Quiz Bowl Online is made possible by the generous support of these sponsors. Lapco Manufacturing, Modern Industrial Workwear. Barker Honda, Martin Luther King Boulevard in Homa. It's better at Barker. Homa Paint and Industrial Supply, proud supporter of education in the Bayou region. Welcome back to South Louisiana Quiz Bowl, South Louisiana leading Morgan City. Last round is two-point toss-ups. Good luck. A girl lies desperately ill of pneumonia. She decides to die as soon as the last leaf of five drops off the vine outside her window. But one leaf hangs on and she recovers. Name this short story by O. Henry. It is the last leaf. In what 20th century decade did Congress create the National Labor Relations Board? Anyone? Was in the 1930s. What desert stretches from Southern California to Western Arizona and down into uh, d Duck? Mojave. That's incorrect. And down into Mexico. It is the Sonoran Desert. Here's some math for you. Ali's Mercenary Services will depreciate their new DC-3 20% on their tax return this year. If the plane costs $250,000, how much depreciation will be claimed? Joseph. 50,000. That's right. Restate this sentence by Cary Grant using the third person singular. I improve on misquotation. Duck. She misimproves on misquotation. That's right. The diaphragm of a camera, which changes the effective diameter of the lens, is also known as the what? Duck. Aperture. That's right. What kind of oil is produced in abundance in Greece? Ada. Olive. That's right. The seventh planet from the sun is Duck. Uranus. That's right. Named the story by Stephen Vincent Benet, which includes a Massachusetts senator who said, Liberty and Union, now and forever, one and inseparable. It is the Daniel and Devil Daniel excuse, the Devil and Daniel Webster. What literary genre reminiscent of a style of architecture is illustrated by these words? Bram Stoker's Dracula. Edgar Allan Poe's Cameron. Gothic. That's right. Mannheim, Wiesbaden, Cologne, Bonn, Arnhem, and Rotterdam are cities located along what river? Drew. The Rhine. That's right. Name the Somerset Mom story that begins as follows. I have never begun a novel with more misgiving. If I call it a novel, it is only because I don't know what else to call it. I have little story to tell, and I end neither with a death nor a marriage. Anyone? That is the razor's edge. What is the most abundant carbonate sedimentary rock? Adelie. Limestone. That's right. What word is missing from this excerpt from the Monroe Doctrine? The American continents are henceforth not to be considered the subjects for future colonization by any blank powers. Cameron. European. That's right. In oceans, lithogenous debris consists of mineral grains brought by rivers, wind, glaciers, eruptions, and erosion. Biogenous debris consists of the remains of marine animals and plants. What kind of debris consists of minerals that crystallize from seawater? Duck. Salt. That's incorrect. 
South of Fuji. It is hydrogenous. What is the object complement in this line? Upon returning to their cabin, they named their new dog Ruger. Cameron. New. That's incorrect. Morgan City. It is Ruger. In 1975, what African country was renamed the People's Republic of Benin? John Patrick. South Sudan. That's incorrect. South of Uji. It is Dahomey. A mineral filling a fracture or fault in a host rock forms what kind of deposit? John Patrick. Mineral deposit. Uh, that's incorrect. South of Uji. Cameron. Sedimentary. I know it's a vein or a vein deposit. Besides gravity, what two other agents are mainly responsible for carving the amazing rock formations in areas like Arches and Canyonlands National? Uh, Michelle? Wind. And? Water. That's correct. <laughs> and that is the end of the game. South of, South of Fuchs is our winner, and they advance into the second round. Morgan City goes over to the elimination bracket. Both teams will be back in a couple of weeks. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week on South Louisiana Quiz Bowl. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.